Right, um, I suspect that these uh, quad L12-2s are out of phase. Um, I've had to actually hook up the backs backwards. So if you see, here's the copper wire, which I usually use as red. And it is on black right now. And then I have the, uh, I don't know what it is, stainless steel or steel or something or other. But it's a um, silver colored wire and it's to the red terminal. And I have just the opposite over on this speaker. So you see copper to red and silver color to black. And this would normally be out of phase for a set of speakers, but uh, these quad L12-2s are out of phase when I have them hooked up properly. And uh, you don't get any imaging at all. It's all cancelled out. It sounds rather flat. And then when I hook them up backwards, they sound absolutely fantastic. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking the uh, drivers apart one by one and I want to try and figure out if any of them were hooked up backwards at the factory. I bought this from a, a nice gentleman out east and uh, he's never touched them and uh, so I'm going to open them up and see what's going on. The uh, bottom driver off and what I should have mentioned earlier was that uh, I've hooked up two other sets of speakers. I've got a pair of HPM 100s, and in the back I have, uh, in the back room I have some Celestian Ditton 15s, and uh, the two HPMs and the Dittons, when hooked up to uh, my Quad 4052, um, sound absolutely perfect when uh, they're hooked up um, the standard way, which is black to back, black, red to red on uh, left and right channels. So uh, when I plug the quad L12-2s in, uh, for some reason I have to actually invert one of the uh, sets of speaker wires in order to get them to phase correctly. So I've opened up uh, the right speaker here and uh, I do see that they don't label the uh, the wires very well but one has sort of a little bit of a copper tinge to it the other one looks a little silvery so uh, this is of course the full range or the, the base driver and according to this on the left hand which has the copper tinged it's on the plus terminal and the one that's on the silver terminal is to the uh, minus terminal, which you can just see barely. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus. So etched in there is a minus on the right hand side and left is plus. And so this has got the red tinged uh, wire to the plus terminal, which I would expect, and the silver is sort of tinged. Although it's really hard to discern, you have to look at it from a distance and you can see one is reddish and one is silverish colored so not sure why or what's going on there so you have to take the woofer off before you can take the tweeter because there's this little ridge in here so now we'll take the tweeter and we'll look at it and this one again looks like it's the copperish color is on the plus and the minus. So I would expect that this is properly wired. Although I'm not absolutely certain about the wiring here because I can't see the crossover and I don't know the crossovers in behind all this carpety stuff here and it's hard to tell whether it in fact has the wires plugged up to the uh, uh, onto the uh, crossover correctly or not? You can just see back there just the edge of the crossover, but it's underneath all that carpeting. So we'll do a little more exploration. So we'll put this back, screw it back in. So I think the right speaker here is hooked up correctly. Um, 
and I'm not going to screw everything in until I look at the left speaker. I might have to actually go into the crossovers and see if maybe those were crosswired or not. And you can't really get to it from the back because of the thickness of the uh, of the case. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll go to the left speaker now. All right, we got this one off now. This is the left speaker, and what I'm seeing here is the decidedly reddish colored speaker wire and it really is hard to tell the difference between the colors so maybe I'm actually just not calling it right here but the reddish one is actually to the minus uh, let's get this into focus there we go so this is the reddish color one that I can make out and it is actually to the minus sign, which is opposite of the other speaker. Let's get this focusing. There we go. So the right hand side one, in this light, it's very dark in here, but uh, the left one, left terminal that you see on the screen, is the plus terminal. And it has take a picture focus it again there we go and it has the silver colored wire okay now what I can see and you can maybe barely see it back there you can actually see that the one that goes to the tweeter I can see the crossover I've exposed it and this wire is in the way. Let's get it out of the way. Uh, there we go. And you can actually see that there is... Let's get the focus going on here. Can't really get you to see it correctly, but on the, the tweeter wire, you can see the board where there's a plus on the right and left is a negative. And you can actually st see a distinct copperish color to the right wire and a silverish wire to the left. And that's copper block, silver wire to the minus, although it's, you have to illuminate it with the flashlight to really see. And uh, it's going up to the tweeter, so I'm curious to see what the tweeter is going to be plugged in at. So what I can't see though yet is and you can see back there where the wire of the woofer goes to it's in behind the carpeting so i can't actually see what the wiring is like there so oh wait a minute wait a minute let's see i've solved it so the black dot or the black mark there is hooked up and i got a and I can see right there it's hard to show on here because I'm trying to film use a flashlight and use my camera and talk at the same time but I can actually trace where it says low frequency negative and I trace the wire all the way, it's only a short leg of wire, and it actually goes to the positive terminal on the woofer. And the right, the low frequency positive, goes to the negative terminal on the woofer. So it is definitely inverted on the, uh, the low frequency driver on the left speaker that I, I have here. I mean, it doesn't really matter what speaker is the left speaker, but... This one that I have in my system is the left speaker. And now I'm going to check the high frequency. We, I think we've solved it. So I'm going to revert the uh, two terminals here. And that should fix this speaker. And we'll try the, uh, the other one. Because I can actually see the, um, the crossover now. It's fully exposed. And I can see the high frequency positive, high frequency negative. And we're going to see what the high frequency... Uh, which you can see right there, almost there.
can see it. High frequency is to the right, positive. High frequency to the left is negative. And in there, the right tailing wire is actually low frequency negative, and it goes to the positive terminal on the woofer here. And uh, I'm going to reverse them and put them in the correct uh, alignment. Okay, so we've ascertained that the left channel, or the left speaker, um, the woofer was hooked up backwards. Tweeter was uh, correct. And uh, it looked like everything was correct. However, what I'm going to do is verify. Uh, what I wasn't able to do is find where the, uh, the crossover was. But now that I did on the left speaker, I can find it on the right speaker, uncover it, and we'll just verify that the, uh, the tweeter and the uh, woofer are hooked up correct on this one. So I've just got one bolt here on it just so it wouldn't fall out. And we'll go into it and make sure it's correct there, and then uh, we'll have a put it all back together and have a listening test and see if I was correct. So stay so tuned. So we've got the uh, right speaker off, and if you can see on the left side of the, um, <clears throat> it's hard to see. Let me get the the light in here. On the left side, you can actually see one of the caps there. Uh, the yellow cap and you can see the wire splits into two directions now, I don't know if you can quite read it yeah there you go so uh, on the left so it's low frequency negative is on the right hand side and on the right hand and uh, sorry on the right hand side is the left low frequency negative on the left hand side is and you can you have to actually pull the stuff out of the way and I was able to cite it it's the low frequency positive. So when you trace the wire all the way back, it is in fact the silverish wire, and it does go to the negative terminal, which you can read on the other side. I had to flip the uh, the driver around. I can't do that because I got a flashlight in one hand and my camera on the other, my camera phone on the other uh, hand. So trust me when I say that it is hooked up correctly on the woofer. Now I'm going to just verify the tw tweeter, which I wasn't able to do last time. But if you can see, you see where the uh, wire is on the right. And you can see that right side yellow cap. And the way it reads, and you can't really see it unless you go underneath, but it is... Uh, just to verify, left... Anyway, let me just turn it off so I can All see. All right, there, I just confirmed. I had to pull the wire out of the way, and I had to put something down in order to do it. But it's uh, high frequency. Uh, you can probably just make it out if I get the camera in there and the light. But it's high frequency left is the negative, and the high frequency right side wire closest to the yellow cap there is positive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace that back and confirm that the uh, the tweeter is hooked up correctly. And holding the tweeter so I can't hold the flashlight, but suffice it to say you can see just barely it's hardly readable. But uh, the wires are in fact hooked up correctly. So really the only um, driver that was out of phase from all the other ones was the left hand woofer everything else was indeed hooked up correctly so I think it was a bit of a quality control glitch back at the factory and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bolt all this back together and then do a listening test and see how it uh, how it sounds sound test absolutely conclusive the uh, speakers are now hooked up correctly and Tracy is coming from dead center between the two speakers and Timmy is a happy camper so I've solved a mystery we proved that quad is not infallible and uh, they sound even better than before because now we got all four speakers or all four drivers that are operating in phase 
Well, as before, we had one speaker hooky, um, hooked up out of phase from everything else. So the imaging is a lot tighter. It sounds spectacular. Thanks for watching. There you have it. I just uh, pulled the speakers up a little bit just to make them uh, more equidistant and uh, like I say, sounds great.